Well, what can we expect from the show? Uh, something unique and laughter. You've always been unique. Yeah. <laughs> right from that first, I saw you, the first appearance on, I think it was Australia's New Faces. Oh, I played the Thunderbox on Australia's that's it. New Faces, yeah. First one, I was a tap dancing knife thrower. That's that, it? That's in Sydney. Mm. There you are. I've been following you ever since. You have. You don't look old enough to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have been. Um, but what's been the highlight over the, over the decades? And I guess at the sh in the show, you go through what your life has turned out. I do, out. yeah, because that's say, an ordinary fellow who had an extraordinary life. And it all started in like 1970 with New Faces. And it was around that time John Williamson was also on there. Oh, yeah, it could have been too. Yeah, he was. was. Old Man well, Emu. There was actually one or two people that went on New Faces that actually got a career out of it. Yeah. 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 Would you have more fodder for a uh, Paul Hogan show in 2015 with the different people who are in power and uh, around? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, it'd be tons, <laughs> more galahs around now than ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, who do you, who do you, you you'd certainly you would have done a you would do. I'm not suggesting he's a galah, but uh, if your program was on now, you would certainly have done a Kevin Rudd. Oh yeah, I'd have done a Kevin Rudd. I'd have, I'd have done uh, Julia too, and I'd have done uh, I'd, I'd be doing Abbott. Can I ask, or is it in court? How's the battle with uh, your friends, the taxation office? Oh, that's well and truly over. That's I, gone. I stitched them up. Yeah. yeah. It I'm still a, waiting for my apology. Um, that was a long saga. It was a long saga, and I was never charged in the end. People, some people think I went to jail. They got me mixed up with someone else, or, mixed or, up or with they Bondi. got nailed to the wall. But no, no, I was never charged after all that. All of that kerfuffle. Yeah, five years of it. Did it? Yeah. Um, do you reckon it aged you? Um, the no, strain of it all? No, in a strange way, I kind of enjoyed it. I was doing nothing else. So you enjoyed a bit of a battle? Yeah, especially when you know you're right. You know, they're, they're the best kind of battles. Yeah, but you don't, you, you might know you're right, but it's not the way it's portrayed. No, I know. It sort of it besmirched me in a lot of places, made people be a bit wary about going into business with me because, you know, oh, you got the tax office looking over your shoulder. But that's all it did, look over my shoulder. And you've got a question for Paul Hogan? Hi, Paul. A big fan of Where's yours. Um, I just wanted to know, if you had to have three people over for dinner, celebrities, who would you invite because you're one on my list? Oh, cool. Living or dead? Um, I prefer living because oh, it wouldn't okay. go down too well. Uh, I'd have Barack Obama over. I'd have Dennis over, of course. Yep, just two. And me? <laughs> and you, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Pick, did it easy. Anne's a very shy woman. Yeah. Oh, Lamb no. roast my house. Oh, I like the shy ones. There we are. <laughs> Lamb roast at Angers. Is it on? Yes, it's yes. on. It's all yep. happening, Ange. Yep. Thanks for your call. Anthony, good afternoon. Well, where did you invent some of your characters from? Are they based on real people like the old wino and Nigel, the skateboarding kid, and uh, Luigi the Unbelievable, and who else was there? Um, oh, um, oh, the Chuck Norris character, you know, the, uh, uh, the uh, Daredevil. Uh, Leo, Leo Wanker. Wanker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they were all loosely based on real people. Oh, I sort of glamoured them up a little bit and took them to the extreme, but all of them were. I mean, Nigel Lovelace were based on my own kids. Ah, mm. all right. Anthony, good question. Paul, good afternoon. Uh, good day, Dennis. Uh, good day, Paul. Uh, I'm a huge fan of yours, and I'd just love to ask you, um, is there any more movies uh, in the pipeline or anything coming up that you're going to be doing? Um, no, the last thing I'm doing now is me, me life story, live on stage with bits of film and video to back it up. I have nothing else planned, but I never have planned ahead. You know. So you wouldn't say no to a movie role if it was right? No, I've had, I still get the odd offer, even though I'm an old age pensioner, but um, they're not appealing to me. Mel, good afternoon. Oh, hi guys. I'm shaking, Paul. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. I grew up with you. My mum and dad had this funny laugh every time they listened to you and Strop and Delveen. Absolutely amazing life you've had. I just wanted to know, would you change anything if you had the chance in your life? No, of course you can't. You know, it's just... You wake up every day, and if you wake up, you're ahead of the game. But what was the motivation back to go on uh, New Faces? Oh, to take the mickey out of it. I thought it was cruel. I thought the um, the celebrities were sort of like persecuting the amateurs. And I thought it'd be nice for someone to give them a taste of their own medicine. And that's the only reason I went on it. And you've been giving people a taste of their medicine ever since? Ever since, yeah. I'm probably the only person who ever went on a talent show and didn't want to win it. You've got one of the most <laughs> famous lines from any movie. 
about the knife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a knife. That's uh, and that uh, I imagine in the back of your mind when you when you're reflecting sometimes perhaps on your career to have a line that is so recognised by so many people from movies from a movie that mm. that must be a good feeling. Oh yeah, after thirty years, especially as I wrote the line, it sort of as I ran into Clint Eastwood and. Then, he was mocking me about it. Of course, you know, he cops it too. He said, uh, you wrote that movie? I said, yeah. He said, did you write that line? And I said, yeah. He said, yeah, well, sir, if you're right. 